When I was a little boy, I was already playing with car toys uh, and especially Ferraris. I was obsessed with Ferraris back then. 12 years old, uh, I started to race those RC cars, uh, RC buggies. I was racing those uh, between 12 and 14 years old or 15 years old. Uh, my father was the mechanic and I was, uh, I was uh, racing them. It was a pretty good period. I loved this period of my, of my life. Um, even though you realize you're not a racing driver, obviously, but you still feel the uh, competitiveness of uh, racing, and that's uh, that led me to, to the next uh, to the next chapter. Well, I didn't really think of cars back then. I was more focused on you know making my uh, work uh, successful. And when the, the the this business starting to be uh, more successful, I was able to buy my first sports car, and. You know, I was debating a Maserati uh, Gran Turismo, I was considering a Mercedes SL uh, 550, something like that. And I was also considering a, uh, an Aston Martin uh, DB9, and I was considering a uh, Ferrari. So I bought my first car, which was a Ferrari 575 Maranello, and I loved it. I loved all of it. Um, so that led me to, you know, to the next chapter of my life. I, after a few months, I I wanted something else. It's it. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. The the fact to own uh, one car, uh, it uh, wasn't enough, and I wanted to experience something else. I was able also in my business to sell my business and for a good uh, for a good amount of money. So back then I was uh, I was able to uh, afford to buy few cars. So I sold my Maranello. I bought a Ferrari uh, California uh, back then. And then I started to buy a few other cars. I bought an Alfa Romeo 8C, I bought a Bentley Azur, Jaguar XKR, um, and you know, I, I wanted to experience different kind of cars. And you know, that's what I did because after a few months, I wanted to change, I wanted to experience something else. At one point, I had uh, up to eight cars just for myself, um, and I started to realize that it's starting to be very costly. The amount of money that I put in, the, in those cars, in this passion, were starting to be a little too much. You know, between the storage fee, between the maintenance, between the, um, the, the, the biggest factor, which is the depreciation when you sell a car, um, and the insurance, all this, it makes, it makes a big bill at the end. That's how I came up with the club and I created Fast Toys in Los Angeles where I moved uh, five years ago and uh, it was a perfect place to start this concept and this club because of the weather situation, uh, about the, the car culture, the big car culture you have in this country and especially in this uh, city and state. So, and there was nothing like it when I, when I first uh, came and created this club. Vastois offers the most exclusive uh, and luxurious and exotic cars or race cars uh, the world can offer. We have cars like a McLaren 675LT, we had a Ferrari Enzo in the, in the fleet, we have a Le Mans prototype race car, we have a Ferrari 488 Challenge race car, we have uh, a Ferrari A12 Superfast, we have basically all the craziest car the world could produce. and. Every of our member can live this, uh, this uh, dream to drive those cars without having the troubles to uh, own them or to lease them or to buy them. That's where fast toys come into play, where you're bored of a Ferrari, okay, get the Lamborghini. You're bored of the Lamborghini, get the McLaren, and so on and so forth. You're bored of driving on the road, it's too, it's too slow for you, get on the racetrack. We have the craziest car too on the racetrack. So that's, that's what Fast Toys offers. And it's much more affordable than buying one of those cars. And you have like 15 cars for yourself.